lot of events have occurred over the uh, past two months with uh, camp and then being back from camp, coming back from college, um, just being around a lot of people. That uh, all these events have gotten me thinking thinking about this particular subject, uh, friendship, and especially today. Uh, today it pissed me off to to the point where I started thinking about this and uh, developing this commentary. Um, but the gameplay in the background, I'm not going to talk about it. The summary of it is 32 and one, correct domination, one cap, two defends. Don't know, use and try hard class, whatever. But uh, this will be my first, I think, first serious commentary where I'm just discussing a certain topic, and that topic is friendship. Um, and what is it that we value in friendship? And this is just a question that I want to discuss and talk about. Um, by no means am I going to answer that question at all. Um, what we value, because... It includes we, and we is a whole bunch of people, and everybody has different opinions of the situation. Everybody has a different answer, so there's a large there's a large amount of answers for this question, and I'm just gonna just go over a few topics of it, not necessarily answer it, but uh, just discuss it a little bit. But with with f for friendship. There has to be a mutual liking between two people, and I reiterate the word mutual. It's <laughs> I've been going I've been going probably for my whole life liking this person, liking that person, without them really knowing my existence. Or if they did, they didn't like like me back in a friendship manner. I like them. Oh, cause you're pretty attractive. I like what you do. You've got a fancy car, <coughs> something like that. Excuse me. Um, but it has to be between two people, and it's it's mutual. Um, this liking could be attraction, uh, someone having a preference for somebody. Um, but there has to be mutual liking. But of course, not every friendship is perfect. Um, there will be times that uh, irritation, dislike, and anger will occur, will arise in your friendship. But um, overall that, there's always an overall appreciation and attachment uh, for your friend um, that you are experiencing. I don't know. Um, uh, the liking, the preference for somebody is, is not enough, though. There are, there are other things that come into play for friendship. And that uh, there's companionship. You're, you're, you value friendship for the companionship. You're uh, with your friends to share experiences with, go bowling, go out, have fun, um, just have a good time. The camaraderie between your friends um, is something that you can value. The companionship between um, people that have common goals or interests, like video games for instance, uh, instance excuse me, jeez. Um, we got a lot of friends that like playing video games and that is something that uh, a common tie between us that uh, we can just talk about, have fun, and uh, I like I like doing this. I like playing games with people. I mean, there are other things in video games. I'm not just that lonely kid that sits in the basement. Um, I have friends, and I enjoy doing things outside uh, the video game world, so to say. Um, another thing is valuing conversation with somebody. It's good to get, uh, it's good to have somebody to talk to again, share an experience that you had. Maybe not necessarily with them. You can talk to them about it, like your trip to Carowinds or something. I mean, whatever you want to do. Um, this time you would talk to a girl, your date or whatnot. It's good to get all that stuff out. Um, sharing thoughts and feelings, uh, which can actually assist with your emotional health. There are like four types of health. I had a class in college um, that stated it. It's just not physical health. It's emotional health, uh, spiritual health, and something else. But... uh yeah, it's never good to keep those things in. Um, if you've got something to talk about, uh, by all means, grab a friend and talk to them. I'm pretty sure if they're a really good friend, um, they'll talk and listen to you. Um, and with that, it's appreciating somebody that can actually help you in a scenario that uh, you're not comfortable with, you don't know what to do. Uh, just somebody to show sympathy, uh, somebody showing sympathy uh, towards you or something. 
um, whether that guy, that person, your friend, is there for you um, physically or emotionally during tough times. Just be, just somebody being there with you is a boost on its own. They don't even really have to say anything. If you have a friend standing beside you, I mean, that's all I would really need. Um, there's a quote I looked up on this because uh, I thought was thinking about it. Um, I can't remember who it's from. Uh, if I had to choose between betraying my country and betraying my friends, I hope I should have the guts to betray my country. Um, that is that is strong. Um, I think I think people should value um, and appreciate friendship more than they do. Um, some people just take it as it is. They have so many friends. I mean, you can look at Facebook. Oh, Facebook friends or uh, air quotes over that. Uh, just People don't appreciate others for what they offer and what they do for you. Um, but uh, a feeling that strong towards your friend to the point, I mean, not necessarily that you're going to betray your country, but doing a deed like that, so extensive, uh, that shows true friendship. Um, and uh, friendships, they do, they can go wrong. They they can start to go wrong um if we start just valuing the only only the friend and not the friendship part, uh, for example, just taking and taking and not giving, as you can see, as you know, giving is better than receiving. And uh, it's like if I if I couldn't if I just stopped caring about if I just um, if I wouldn't care about this person so much, kind of thing. Just it's not good, and it's the other way around. Uh, if we start valuing the friendship more. Um, for a person that uh, provides something for you, like monetary, you might not like that person, but they're a benefit to you in that way. Um, they provide monetary support, or you just value your friend for sex, uh, which makes you a complete horn dog, and you need to change that friends with benefits kind of thing. But uh, our friends, they influence us, um, whether it's in a positive and negative manner, um, and you have to appreciate that. And I've had a lot of friends, and I've learned from them, and uh, some might not be friends anymore, but uh, I just had to get that off.